Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Welcome to month of April Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Let's grab our 2D drawing. So notice the dimensions are pointing to this center point of this arc. With that in mind, let's have the center point be coincident with our origin. Let's now enter sketch mode. I'm going to hit L for line. So now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Let's sketch on our XY plane. So selecting this plane. In addition, notice the icon of our line, there is an arc, meaning the line tool has a capability of creating an arc. Let's drop our first point somewhere here. Left click. And for our second point, I'm going to hold my left mouse button. So left click and hold. I'm still holding my left mouse button. So here we have created an arc release left click and hold once more to create an arc and let's connect this to this endpoint hitting escape next applying the obvious let's add a tangent constraint between this line and this arc and instead of going to our sketch palette and grabbing our specific constraints i'm going to select this vertical line left click Hold control and left click this arc. So we have two entities selected. I can right click and automatically Fusion 360 will suggest the appropriate constraint for this scenario. And our target is tangent. Before grabbing our dimension tool, let's grab our coincident constraint. Let's have this center point coincident to our origin let's now hit d4 dimension select this center point and our origin left click here to place our dimension key in 50 dimension tool still active let's select this arc and the radius to be 15 in addition we have an offset of this slot and the shortcut for offset is O. So make sure chain selection is enabled. Let's select this line, move our slider to the right. And I'm going to key in negative 12, hit enter. Let's inspect our drawing once more. So on the right, we have two circles. So let's pan. I'm going to create two circles here, so hit C for circle. The mention of the inner circle is 35, so let's create a circle, key in 35. Hit C once more, drop our center point at the center point of our first circle. And key in 70. Let's arrange our dimension, hovering over 70. Left click and hold, release to place this here. Same with 35, let's place this here. Next, let's grab our dimension, hit D, select our origin and the center point. Let's move down. So notice the transition of our dimension. Here I have aligned and here I have a horizontal dimension. Let's place our dimension here, key in 220. Dimension tool still active. Let's select our center point, our origin. Move to the right. Left click here to place our dimension and key in 120. Next, let's create an arc from here, going here, hitting escape to disable dimension and hit s to grab our sketch shortcuts i'm going to type a r c and grab three point arc let's drop our first point here 
at the intersection of this arc, left click here, and left click at this intersection, left click once more to complete the arc. Arc tool still active. Let's create another arc from here, going here. Left click, create another arc from this endpoint, going to this circle. Left click, hitting escape. Let's grab our constraints. Let's add tangent between these two arcs. So selecting this arc, control left click this arc, right click, and let's select tangent. So I can move this arc hovering over, left click and hold to move this here. Once more, let's add another constraint, select this arc and this arc, right click, selecting tangent, same with this arc and this circle, right click and select tangent. Let's now grab our dimension, hit D, Let's select this arc, left click here, key in 150, hitting escape. Let's move this endpoint somewhere here and hit D, select this arc, key in 70, hitting escape. Let's resize and move our arc. From here, I'm going to grab our vertical constraint, select this center point and this center point. So it turned into black, meaning it's fully constrained. Moving forward, let's grab our tangent constraint, zoom in, select this arc and this arc, this arc and this circle. Hitting escape, let's move our arc to locate its center point. So this is the center point of our arc. Let me re-grab our vertical constraint, select this center point and this center point. Let's hit escape and hit L for line. Let's create the half slot here at the intersection. Left click, left click and hold. Move down, left click, hitting escape. Let's zoom in, select this arc and this vertical line, right click and let's apply tangent constraint. Next, hit C for a circle, create the circle at this center point. The diameter to be 20, hit D for dimension. Let's dimension this arc, the value to be 20 as well. Dimension tool still active. Let's select this center point and the center point. Place our dimension here and key in 60. And finally, let's select this center point and the center point move up. Hitting escape. Based on the challenge, we have an unspecified radius of 5 millimeters. Actually, that fillet was created at the 3D model itself and specified into the 2D drawing. It is preferred after the sketch, we will add the fillet. For now, feel free to add a sketch fillet and turn this profile into 3D. That's it for April Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Thanks for watching. For comments and suggestions, feel free to join and post in our Facebook group, Autodesk Community Philippines. Thanks for watching and see you on May Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.